All right, what's up, Internet? Don here from Don Does 30 bringing you another hacking tutorial for this month. Um, we are going to take a look at setting up Metasploit today, uh, which is a very, very powerful system to go ahead and use exploits against a particular computer system to gain access, to upload files, to download files, to um, hack into webcams, pretty much anything you could almost think of possible. Now, we're not going to actually do much hacking today. What I need to do is go through and show you how to set up the service, including setting up the database that will be used to track um, exactly what you're doing through Metasploit, and it also um, sets up all the information that we'll be using. So pay close attention because if you are using the live CD, meaning if you burned Kali Linux to a CD, and use it that way. Um, you'll have to set this up each and every time you shut down the system because this doesn't save on your hard drive like normal. Now if you're using a USB device like I am which uses persistence, um, that means that the changes are saved to your USB drive. Again, you could do all this without having to even touch your hard drive. So if you are a Windows user at this time, um, you could go ahead and, and get the live CD of Kali Linux, or you could uh, burn it, I guess not necessarily burn it, um, but you could copy it to a USB device, so that way any changes that you make to the system itself will be saved to your USB. So that's a little bit more than uh, I needed to say, but let's go ahead and get started with um, setting up the service and setting up the database. So again, we're going to do this from our terminal here. Go ahead and type in service post g-r-e-s-q-l start now this is basically starting our database server that we're going to use to save our metasploit database into all right so once you get the confirmation and it goes back that everything's okay uh, you are able to type in service metasploit start now give it a couple minutes because it's going to configure your Metasploit. It's going to also upload all the information that it needs into the database so that way that you have a running database that we'll be using for all of the exploits um, to scan for vulnerabilities. Metasploit, like I said, it, it is very powerful. It's, it also does take a huge learning curve because you need to know the commands. Now if you remember back when I was doing the uh, Wi-Fi cracking, I first went through the command line Wi-Fi cracking procedure and then I showed you the GUI interface, the graphic interface. Same thing's going to happen with this. I'm going to go through the command line interface, show you how to use Metasploit, how to exploit um, a Windows machine that I'm using, and then after that I'll go through the process of the GUI interface which is which will make your life a lot easier but it's good to know this system as well. Alright, so it looks like we're done here. We've got everything okay. Um, the database was copied correctly and we have the user and the database. Now all that information you probably won't need to see again so we'll just type in MSF console and hit enter and this is going to go ahead it does take some time because it manually loads the exploit tree into memory so give it a couple of minutes here and I'll go through what it looks like again we're not going to be exploiting any machines today but I'll give you the basic overview of what I'm talking about so you have a better idea <clears throat> because we will be using Metasploit for I would say probably the next four or five tutorials just um, getting into the system what you could do with the system um, disabling antivirus software um, shutting down systems um, so again this is a very very powerful tool and if you could find a computer that you could exploit and get into um, the sky's the limit. You basically, you're, you're the owner of that computer at that point. Usually it doesn't take this long. So, what else should we talk about? Oh, there we go. Alright, so now it is creating the table. And what that means is this is loading everything into that database that we created. Now again, for the initial installation, this does take a while. Uh, for subsequent installations, or actually for subsequent uses when you pull up the um, NSF console, it won't take this long because everything will be loaded into a database. Again, if you are using that live CD, you're going to have to go through this process every time. 
Um, I do highly recommend getting a USB device that will allow you to go ahead and copy the um, ISO image to. There's a great um, Windows tool that will uh, allow you to do that. That makes the process extremely easy. Um, there's also tutorials online how to make it a persistent USB, which means that you get to save all of your, your changes and updates. So here we go. All right, so Metasploit. Start from the beginning. We got a nice little uh, ASCII graphic of a cow saying Metasploit. Uh, the, the graphic actually changes each time you bring it up, so you're not stuck with the cow. Now I'm using version uh, 4.10 and some odd. Um, right now in the database there's 1347 exploits. This changes all the time um, as you're getting new exploits. From what I understand they're updated on a weekly basis. So you could go ahead and uh, update it to get even more exploits. Um, so this is it. This is all set up and this is the, uh, the database or this is the, the uh, infrastructure that we're going to be using for the next couple of tutorials. Um, just to give you an idea I'll type in help uh, this gives us some information. Um, well, these are the database commands. That's not exactly what I wanted. Here we go. These are the the core commands here. So we're going to be using most of these to go ahead and connect to different devices and different computer systems and take over. So for now, I'm just going to end the tutorial here. Now that this is set up, you could come back and refer to it. And for the next couple of days, make sure you have this loaded ahead of time because we're going to be going pretty fast. All right, thanks again for watching. See you guys tomorrow.